Hey, Parvati Shallow here with addiction psychiatrist, Dr. Stephen Ross. How do science and spirituality mix in treating addiction? It's one of those branches of medicine where they go together. If you're dealing with patients that have terminal cancer or addiction, those paradigms are kind of disorders of spiritual distress and could be understood that way. And we really do need to develop treatments that um, pay attention to those domains of the illness. Addiction can be understood as a kind of spiritual disorder. In other words, um, addicts can lose intention, they can lose connection to community, to God, uh, to their family, to within themselves, um, and they can leave a life that um, is sort of like meaningless and without attachment. Um, and the worst is when you see addicts choosing uh, their drug over their kids, and you can get a sense of how profoundly um, problematic from a kind of spiritual and developmental perspective this disorder can be. Talk to me about the work that you're doing with addiction. We are one of the few academic medical centers that's about to embark on hallucinogen treatment model for addiction. And we're doing this study in conjunction with the University of New Mexico. It's a randomized controlled trial using psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy. Um, it's specifically motivational interviewing to help people with alcoholism. The University of New Mexico has gotten approval and has started the trial. They have treated the first couple of participants. At NYU, we have full institutional approval, and we're in the process of getting our Schedule One license. And the study will likely start within the next one to two months. What is psilocybin? Uh, psilocybin is the active, um, it's the psychoactive component um, in a type of hallucinogenic mushrooms. There's over 180 species of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Um, and it's been used by indigenous cultures as a spiritual sacrament for millennia. Um, it was discovered in the 50s. There was a banker in New York, Gordon Wasson, who went looking for this sort of uh, hallucinogenic compound, um, found it and sent it to Albert Hoffman, who was the inventor of LSD. And in the late 50s, Albert Hoffman synthesized psilocybin as the psychoactive component. It's also what's known as a Schedule One drug. It's classified as having very high addictive potential and no therapeutic utility. Um, but in my opinion, it's actually misclassified from that perspective. Is this a controversial study? Well, it, it does have um, controversy associated with it. it. These drugs are associated with, um, you know, the kind of cultural wars of the 60s. Um, and they're banned substances and considered taboo. Um, there's a long history of these substances causing excitement and then being repressed. And that has happened throughout history for various reasons. So we're really trying to learn, the modern day researchers are trying to learn from the mistakes of the past and to be very careful and to do this in a very safe, thoughtful way. By inducing a kind of spiritual awakening, um, it may shift the person who's addicted um, from this kind of path they're on, which is very dark and going towards destruction, and shift them towards a different path, a kind of like connection back into their lives and developmental tracks. Um, and this sort of shift we want to then feed into psychotherapy to help change their motivation to enter sobriety and recovery. As a doctor who's dedicated myself to treating addiction, my main message is never give up hope. There is always hope, even in the worst cases. You need to hang in there because most patients eventually recover with good treatment. Yeah.